In today's earnings, it was kind of a surprise because Apple actually met expectations. Uh, a lot of the times, uh, they've had a blowout, but then kind of more recently, they've missed, uh, particularly because analysts kind of uh, up these estimates. So um, this is kind of the first time that Apple's provided something that's a little bit lower and a little bit more conservative, uh, and it actually worked out really well for them. For today's earnings, this is really kind of a, a show that Apple still is selling a lot of products. They've made all new records for iPhones and all new records for iPads. They actually surprised on both those numbers, which blew some of Wall Street's numbers away. Um, the, the point really turns out of the future and what Apple is doing next. And Tim Cook today, who's Apple CEO, really provided this vision that they're not really going to have anything until the fall uh, and have a really good 2014, but that leaves a lot of questions between now and then. Uh, there were a lot of questions today about what Apple is doing next. Uh, the company was totally cagey about it. Uh, of course, there were questions about bigger iPhones, new products like a watch or a television. Um, they kind of dodged around that by saying, we don't have anything to tell you, but we have some really great stuff in the pipeline. It's really been their kind of go-to way of saying, we can't tell you what's happening. Uh, but they seem really uh, bullish about what's coming up next. Of course, when that is, we don't really know. The big news to come out of today's earnings is really what they expect for the next quarter, uh, which isn't great. Uh, their, their estimate was pretty far below what analysts were expecting. Um, a big part of that is their margin. That's how much they make on each of their products. That is considerably lower uh, than what people thought it would be. So um, that combined with revenue, uh, it's, they're just not making as much as they used to based on the fact that products are more expensive. Along with the earnings announcement, Apple also announced a repurchase plan that was a little bit higher than what they had before, in fact, $55 billion higher, along with the dividend that was 15%. Uh, this is really something uh, they can do to potentially raise the stock price, but also make people happy uh, with the stock, which has been going down in value.